we're gonna make a movie about taking total bacteria count all ingredients needed a slide this one's for aerobic count entero bacteria salmonella bacteria and staphylococcus aureus bacteria I don't know if I'm pronouncing it all very well but those are called slides that's where the bacteria grow on you also need one swab and a sample of water from your pond now I'm just gonna put the camera down Hoping it will stay up and make some tests. This is sample water from my pond. About uh, 50 milliliters. I usually do 20 milliliters. And this is a swab. You unscrew the cap of the swab. Just shake it out. So all the liquids out. Put it in the sample of water from the pond. Turn it a little. So it takes up the water from the pond. I put it back in. It's all done. Make sure your hands are clean. Shake the swab sideways, horizontally, not vertical. Lift the cap on top of it. Lift the foil covering the slide. Make sure you don't touch the square field in the middle. Then you drip about one milliliter of the swab onto the slide. That's about one milliliter. You can see it on the bottle with some luck. Nine milli milliliters left. Then you carefully close the slide, lay down the foil covering it, and make sure no air is contained. A little hard on this ground here. All the ass out. This one's ready for use, so I'm just going to put it away for a while. That was total bacteria. Now I'm gonna make the same thing for salmonella. Again, you lift the foil covering the medium. 
open the top of the swap bottle. Divide one milliliter of the sample. Over the slide. Close the cap. And close the foil. Again, make sure no air is giving is kept between the layers. It's another one ready. Next one will be Enterobacteria. Lift the foil, open the cap, drip one milliliters onto the medium within the slide. Close the cap and close the slide. You have to do this really well. Another one ready. The last one. Lift the foil. Lift the cap. Drip one milliliter of the sample water onto the medium. Dividing it as equal as possible. Close the cap. And close the foil. Just let it drop and apply a little pressure to make it airtight. Now I usually do this on a hard surface, so I'm going to be pressing them a little harder on a chair which you won't see, but this is the result. Now I've just made four slides. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna place them in a bacteria stove now. 
So I'll have to lift the camera again. Open the door to my stove. Which I already set to 37 degrees Celsius. Open the glass door, it's nice and warm in there. I don't know if it already reached. It's now 33 degrees. Just place the, sli the slides into the stove. Like that. And 24 hours later you'll have the final result. I'm going to close the stove now. And those final results will look something like this. Covered with little red dots. Colony forming bacteria. And these you have to count. 